So people, these athletes mean business. <laughs> Fred Curley and Marcel Jacob switch coach. <laughs> what, is it? what does this mean? So we understand that Marcel Jacobs has moved on to um, Raider, Raina Raider, um, to guide him to the Olympics. And now Fred Curley has also made a big move, massive move. Yeah. So it is a basically a significant career move. You know, Fred Curley, who won the 100 meters world champion title in 2022. He has revealed his switching coaches to work with Quincy Watts. Yeah. And this change comes as Curly, who is currently 28 years of age, uh, make his preparation for one of the most critical year of his athletic career. And that is Paris 2024. Yeah. So this, this is big news. A matter of fact, Fred Curly won silver medal in the men's 100 meter at the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. That's the same meet that Marcel Jacobs defeated him. Hmm. Two, the one, two finishers have changed coach to prepare for the Olympics. Interesting, interesting. Now, Fred Curley was previously coached by Grenada's Alain Francique. And while running for Texas, that's while running for Texas A&M. Right, and Watts, who is also an assistant coach at USC, held the NCAA record in the 400 meter for an impressive 25 years until uh, Curly shattered it in 2017. Watts is also the coach of uh, Olympic and World 400 meter hurdles medalist Rye Benjamin. Is Fred Curly going back to the 400 meters? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Now, Fred Curley did not mince words, people, when he openly expressed um, his switch um, of coach. So this is what he said, and I quote, Choosing to make changes is always risky, even riskier during a year like the Olympics. I felt that I needed to bet on myself. I needed to prove to myself that I was all in all that man seeking the guidance. And that meant seeking the guidance of Coach Watts. He also added that he's entrusting him to bring out the best version of him in the most important athletic year of his career. And he ended it by saying, asking the question, y'all ready? Now this move marks a pivotal moment for Curly as he aims to capitalize on his recent championship success under the tutelage of his new coach. Can it happen, people? Can Fred Curley do it at the Olympics? Hmm. You have a research of Christian Coleman. There is the 2023 world champion in Noah Lyles. There is a rising star in can i say it yeah kishane thompson there is akeem blake there is oblique civil so there's a plethora of athletes out there is this switch too close to the olympics mark you jacobs is also making a switch but is the sprinting in men has the depth to really stop a, a, a Fred Curley? That's an interesting question. Yeah. So I, I definitely wait to see what will transpire in this move that Fred Curley decided to make. It's a big move. Will he go back to the 400 meters? We don't know. But let's see how that one goes. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time.